Alright, hey guys, it's Joel to 6 Red X here. And, well, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to hook up a Wii, a Wii Remote to, uh, Dolphin. So, for our steps, uh, we're gonna go over to our Bluetooth, select our, uh, Select the Bluetooth Devices panel, uh, and you'll see up on the top, Add Devices, or Add a Device. Go ahead and click that. Now, uh, I won't find anything until you go over here. You see on your Wiimote here, you can either go on the back and uh, flip a little red switch, uh, click a little red button there, or you can press these two buttons together. So. You'll see the four lights blinking, and there you go. A Nintendo uh, RVL thingy pops up. So go ahead and click that. Click next. Click pair without using a code. And also, guys, if you have any third party remotes, that will not work. So, very sorry. Uh, third party nunchucks, on the other hand, they work great. I have this little mini one from Power A, and I traded my Power A one for this for my friend. Okay, so as you can see, the device has been successfully added. So you can go ahead and close all this junk. And uh, I know people are always saying, "Oh, you need Glove Pie." Just if you already installed all that stuff and you see it doesn't work, ignore it. So uh, as you can see here. I have uh, these three games. I haven't played this one yet, but I'm going to be getting that tomorrow for the 3DS as well. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man. Or Kingdom Hearts, I'm not sure which one. So, make sure on the top here, it's not selected emulator or none or anything. Make sure it's clicked on uh, real, Wii, uh, real Wiimote. Alright? So, uh, there you go. It's It just now installed the Bluetooth HID. I don't know if refreshing will do anything. No. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do is uh, see where it says pair up. And also here on the down, on the bottom right corner of the video, you can see me uh, getting my finger ready to press 1 and 2. So go ahead and press them and then click pair up. If you do it correctly, it should take one try. Um, but normally it takes two tries, two or three, at most three. So, uh, you just have to wait for it to say uh, one connected, and when it does, you'll still see these lights here flashing. You just click refresh and it should work. See? Just click refresh, it says one connected. And uh, this light should come up. So now with that, uh, you can get an IR bar, uh, which is an infrared sensor thing for the Wii. There's uh, wireless ones for about two to three dollars on eBay. So you can go ahead and get that, and uh, it's got fast shipping and everything. It's just like a little thing right there, but um, mine's currently in hasn't arrived in the mail yet, and. Either way, it doesn't matter because the game I'm showing you uh, doesn't require one. So go ahead and click OK. And um, oh, and also if you're too cheap and uh, don't mind uh, getting candles near your screen or anything, uh, you can get two small like little candles and separate them about like this far from each other, and that'll act as a great infrared thing. So yeah. So we're pretty much done uh, with this part, so I'm just going to show you guys that it actually works. So I'm going to go ahead and click Sonic and the Black Knight. I'm going to play it right there. I'm going to switch it to full screen here. With Alt and Enter, you can switch it to full screen. Alright. Just press OK. Save that.
Uh oh, what's up with this lag? I just go ahead and select everything. It's lagging because I'm recording. It's not too bad though, it's actually pretty good. Uh, here, let me do the first uh, level for you just to show you. What the? This is terrible, but... Anyway, and uh, motion works, so don't worry about that. Move the mouse out of the way. Alright, see I'm moving. I can move left, right. Once again, I'm really sorry about this lag. Let me show you that it actually attacks. And here yeah, I'm about to press Z to block off these. See? Alright guys, so um... That was just a quick little... Uh, look at just getting how, uh, getting the we want to work. That since I'm recording, it lags. So uh, if you're gonna use an emulator, I don't, I don't suggest uh, recording off of that. Just to let you know. Okay. So that's how you get it to work. There's no configuration needed. Uh, Dolphin's just that smart, and you can hook up as many as you want. You just have to. Uh, simu uh, simultaneously press 1 and 2 together, so if you have multiple people to play with, uh, I suggest you get them to press it at the same time and click pair up, and it should pair them all up. So, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, catch you in the next video.